whenever there's an integration of the need of the society and of a passion. Here comes the most important thing that is the evolution of revolution. Hello guys, this is Vikram Singh Sankar, pursuing MBBS from GRMC Gwalior. Now presenting an initiative from my side that is the Integrated Medicos, which is exclusively dedicated to provide you the integrated medical lectures. So let's get started. <music> Basically what the plan is that we take the medical concepts from 8 books, integrate them and provide you in the form of medical lectures. Let me tell you guys why am I doing that. We got three reasons for that. Number one is that everyone must have same opportunity for education. Unfortunately, 20% population of medical students coming from the urban areas, 30% population of medical students coming from the suburban areas. 40 even beyond 50 percent population of medical students coming from the rural areas are not supposed to purchase the plans of rupees 30,000, 50,000, 70,000. It's my pleasure guys whatever the medical content which is present in this channel will be free and will not be present in those institutes or with a price tag of 50,000 rupees per student. It's my pledge guys. Second reason being the next national exit test and uh, you know the pattern of this examination will be completely integrated and that's why here comes the need of integrated video lectures in the medical society and this need is completely getting fulfilled by our initiative that is the integrated medicos that's why i just want to pursue it third reason being i'm passionate about teaching yeah and uh, you know i used to discuss things with my friends and uh, you know i used to teach them and sometimes and you know i came to know that yeah this is what my passion is and i just want to pursue it i can pursue with this initiative to serve the medical society and that's why i just want to pursue it so uh, this is what the why i just want to tell you how i will make all these things done so let's see now guys we will discuss how the integrated medicals works so now started. Basically, we will discuss each and every disease in three parts. Part 1, part 2, part 3. If disease is small, we can convert into two parts. Part 1, part 2. Our first disease of concern is the peptic ulcers. That will be discussed by us into three parts. Part 1, that is what the part 1 is. Right? And this is part 1. This whole circle depicts part 1. Right? And this circle depicts part 2 this part three right and the subjects are just integrated and are shared let me tell you how this is anatomy pathology medicine physiology microbiology radiology pharmacology and surgery in part one we will be having such subjects in part two we will be having those subjects in part three we will be discussing these five subjects now what will be the content of part one content will be like that okay so first we will discuss the preclinical portion of peptic ulcers what is that that is the anatomy and physiology related with the stomach and the duodenum so that is what is to be discussed under this anatomy and the physiology physiology of acid secretion more important thing and followed by the disease portion that is disease portion that is preclinical portion that is disease portion that is the etiological factors and the risk factors followed by its pathogenesis corresponding to which we will discuss clinical features followed by complications of that part discuss in part one so anatomy is present here physiology is present here pathology is present here whole and the medicine the clinical picture is just completely based upon the medicine the core concepts of medicine and you know the etiopathology complications are also the part of the medicine as well coming on to the second part which is completely a diagnosis of the peptic ulcers our first topic so the uh, first one is the pathology discussed like here like that part and the radiology like here medicine the additional workups present in the book of medicine will be discussed in this head and the microbiology whole of the lab diagnosis of that h pylori will be discussed under under this heading right 
the followed by the third portion third portion will be having the five subject integration and the, the, uh, the contents will be first we will discuss the physiological basis right physiological basis meanwhile the acid secretion the mechanism of that the receptors enzymes pumps involved in, in that case we will discuss all these things under this heading followed by the drug classification completely driven from the book of pharmacology that is KDD so pharmacology present here and here as well the individual drugs the PPIs H2 blockers and 3 antagonists and acid neutralizers etc okay and antimicrobials as well and each and every drug will be discussed individually in the in the main headings of that right so physiological basis done drug classification done individual drugs are done and drug regimen and the schemes which are present bestly depicted by the medicine that will be covering here and if it is not treated by the medications we will go for the surgery so the physiology is explaining this pharmacology will be explaining both these things and drug regimen completely driven from the book of medicine and <clears throat> and the surgical interventions are just explained from this portion and if microbiology is important if the drug regimen drug WHO regimen is given in the book of microbiology that will be included here so another point will be included here done we will definitely bring the global medical education system to the next level right guys i have posted my notes on my instagram account by the name of integrated medicals if you're just having any query and doubt you can go for the comment section below and uh, if you just want to appreciate my work you can go for that hit the like button for the sake of my motivation don't forget to subscribe pressing bell icon will give me some vibe thank you for watching keep integrating thank you